That's the world's greatest current concern. An inconvenient truth was a real wake-up call to the world. This was a great achievement for Al Gore. However, he forgot something rather important. 18% of global greenhouse gas emissions are caused by livestock farming. Oh, really? Wow, I thought it was mostly cars. Nothing is done about it, and we continue to produce uh, animals in the way we do right now. And in that case, the environmental impact is going to deteriorate beyond measure. If you consider that it takes about seven kilograms of grain, that's corn and soybeans, to just make one kilogram of beef, we're talking about hundreds and hundreds of hectares of soy being planted in former rainforest to, to provide meat. I don't expect everyone on the planet to give up all meat. I think that's unrealistic. Uh, but I do think we could get people to understand that meat shouldn't be something they have for their own health <laughs> on as regular a basis as, as they do have it. We need to start picking carefully what we eat, how we eat, when we eat it, where we get it from. Our fork is a powerful tool. A vegetarian in a hammer produces fewer carbon emissions than a meat-eater in a Toyota Prius. But a vegetarian on a bike is much better. If all Americans didn't eat meat for just one day a week, this would save 90 million plane tickets from New York to LA or from LA to New York. <laughs>